People are dead in Simpson County, and Kentucky State Police are now investigating what they are calling a double shooting. Upon arrival, police found Franklin resident Tierra Williams. Kentucky State Police are investigating a death in Simpson County. KSP says they received a call about a shooting around 6.30 a.m. Sunday morning. Once authorities arrived to the home, they found a woman who had been shot and had died from the injuries. Tierra Williams was 21 years old and lived in Franklin, Kentucky. Her friends and family described her as loving, nurturing, and compassionate. Tierra loved caring for children. She started her daycare business, T and J Child Care, February 11th, 2020. Hi, my name is Tierra Williams. This here is Toodles. I am the owner of T and J's Child Care. We have been in business for two years now. Our philosophy here is that every moment matters. And here is where the babies will learn tummy time, will do different things to stimulate their learning. We do a lot of learning activity, colors, our shapes. And here is where we do a lot of brain stimulation, reading books. And Tierra was a dependable and sensitive child care provider. She was working towards gaining years of experience with children between the ages of one and seven. She loved everything about her career. On her Facebook page, she provided services for children of all personality types, learning abilities, and cultural differences and backgrounds. She also enjoyed planning events for parents to come to to bond with their little ones. She was also blessed to be a mother of her own. Her and her husband, Jeremy Williams, who she was married to since September 29, 2018, welcomed a baby girl. She said her daughter was the purest, most perfect gift she could ever receive. <laughs> Tierra and Jeremy shared hundreds of videos and pictures displaying their love for one another, even creating a family YouTube channel, according to her Facebook. Tierra was young, but determined. She was ready and so excited about what life had in store for her family. It wasn't too long ago before she shared a beautiful video with the caption, three years of marriage and forever to go. We've had one hell of a journey through the ups and downs. I'm so blessed to be able to venture through life with you. Thank Thank you for being my life partner, Hubs. Sadly, today her friends and family are left devastated by the shocking news about their loved one. It was reported that Tierra was found shot in her home, alone. In Simpson County, Kentucky State Police now investigating a possible murder suicide. According to KSP, officers were called to the 600 block of Patton Road in Franklin just before 6.30 this morning for reports of a shooting. On Sunday, June 5, 2022, just before 6.30 a.m., the Kentucky State Police Post 3 received a call for service of a shooting incident in Simpson County. Law enforcement responded to the home in Franklin. Once they arrived, they found 21-year-old Tierra Williams with multiple wounds. Just before 6.30 this morning, Kentucky State Police received a call for service in reference to a shooting incident incident that occurred at 637 uh, Patton Road in Franklin, Kentucky. Uh, troopers uh, arrived on the scene, um, located a deceased female uh, in the residence. Tierra was transported to the medical center at Franklin, where she was later pronounced deceased. During the preliminary investigation, law enforcement attempted to locate her husband in connection with the incident. However, once police located him, the press release states Jeremy was found deceased in his vehicle. Uh, the suspect in the first shooting uh, was located at the 23 mile marker of I-65 northbound. Um, he was located there by troopers, uh, deceased by a, a parent self-inflicted wound. The police did not release what led up to the incident, but they did say this investigation is ongoing. Several tributes have been made displaying their love for Tierra. 
One of her friends said, you had the sweetest soul and you were always there for me when I needed you. Your energy was unmatched and unforgettable. You gave me the push that I needed and you bought something out of me that I couldn't bring out of myself. According to reports, both families are grieving and supporting each other at this time. Their main priority is raising their grandchild and her knowing that she is loved by many. I'm at a complete loss for words. Every tribute I've been tagged in regarding this young lady, all have been so beautiful. You can tell she was just a beautiful soul. Wow. This story is completely devastating. I will continue to keep her friends and family in my thoughts and prayers, especially her daughter. Let's please respect the victim and the family in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. And with that being said, don't forget to check on your loved ones.